Hey guys, welcome back to Trailer Talk. Like I said, we're going to be doing these more frequently now, um, but in future weeks they're not going to be as scrunched together. I was just running behind this week. I'm probably going to do um, each one a couple of days apart uh, starting next week. So uh, let's get started. Again, if you like it, please give us a thumbs up. Please comment below on stuff you want to see, and uh, maybe I'll get to it. But yeah, this first trailer is for a game that uh, I did see at E3. I saw it behind closed doors, and we talked a little bit about it uh, when we were at E3. I think we have some impressions video up there. But this is the first public, you know, gameplay footage that they've released, I think. Justice. Um, gameplay footage. Well, you know. A trailer that includes cinematically cut gameplay, but it is what it is what it looks like in the game. Glory is lost. And it does focus a lot on car combat because hell, it's Mad Max, and that makes sense. But I will say, you know, this is a game from Avalanche, and if you played Just Cause 2, you know how crazy it can get. And, and while this, you know, doesn't look as over the top as Just Cause 2, one of the things I liked doing a lot in Just Cause 2 is kind of driving around because of the physics, you know, it's so fun to sort of, sort of bounce around, fly over heels and whatnot. We taught, it took a hero and while uh, this game looks all, uh, the physics don't look as crazy as they did in Just Cause 2, everything has a lot more weight to it. Um, so it does look like it'll be fun. I mean, just the way the Interceptor, or whatever this vehicle it is you're driving, sort of tears through like the dirt and the sand dunes looks super fucking satisfying. Just like, it looks like every fucking time you ram a vehicle or, or anything is just gonna be super like, fucking yes! And um, one of the things we saw like in the gameplay footage is, is the dude on the back like shot a harpoon in the tire of another vehicle and like ripped it off and that vehicle fucking went flying and shit and it was just it was fucking kinda cool. And uh, I don't know man, I trust an avalanche. So I think this game could end up being pretty fucking sweet. You know, not the biggest Mad Max fan in the world, but hey, I like car combat games and I like Avalanche, so I'll be on board. All right, this next trailer is, oh yeah, this is for Strider. Uh, the new reboot of Strider, and I will say that uh, it, it does look pretty nice. And on paper, it sounds good. It, it's. It's sort of Strider turned into a more proper, like, Metroidvania-style game with, like, upgrades and whatnot and full exploration of a world. And I do love those types of games. And, and I like Strider. That It's cool. It's being developed by Double Helix. And Double Helix is not a good studio. I mean, not a good developer. They're responsible for a lot of, like, licensed games, like the Green Lantern game and the G.I. Joe game. And... and even when they like try to do bigger projects, they spit out things like Front Mission Evolved. I mean, good fucking lord, that game sucked. And I, I, I think their highest rated game in their entire catalog was actually Silent Hill Homecoming. And honestly, that's probably the worst Silent Hill game, maybe by a lot. So if that's their shining star, consider me worried about this new Strider game. It's just, man, I don't know, Double Helix. So this next trailer is for the DLC. It's for DLC from Bioshock Infinite. And you probably know I'm not the biggest Bioshock Infinite fan in the world, in utopia, but I did like the game. Someone needs to clean up. And the this mess. trailer seems to be focusing on the things I like about the Bioshock that's games. Where I come in. And that's you know the atmosphere and the story and characters and just the world, man. It looks like it takes place in Rapture before everything goes to shit, which is cool because. That's not cool. I don't like that. I don't like that. What's going on here, man? Why are they all creepy? They shouldn't be creepy yet or something, right? I don't like that. I don't know if I'm okay with this. But hey. Hey. I like Bioshock. This makes me think of Bioshock 1. And I was desperate and hey, enough to believe her. Elizabeth is older. This. Which is cool. Elizabeth. Ah, man. You know, you might think I'm cynical, but I was very much looking forward to Bioshock Infinite. And you I, can call me Elizabeth. 
And I'm a little we were all frustrated that sleeping. it didn't live up to my expectations, but just didn't know it I'm yet. not going to lie. Shit like this gets me excited, and I'll be just on board to try something like this out, especially if it's more story-driven um, than anyone else, especially because it was, it was kind of the gameplay, the combat that I thought was kind of shallow and not that fun in Bioshock Infinite. This is more story-focused. Um, damn. I'll be excited. You know, the, the the first DLC, I don't have the season pass, but I think the first DLC just came out, and it's like a horde mode. See, that's the kind of shit I don't want to play. I don't care about. Uh, but, man, this looks good. I don't know. Tell me what you think below. But, uh, whoa, whoa. That's it. That's it for Trailer Talk. That's it for this episode. So, again, like I said, shorter episodes, but more of them. If you like this, let me know below. If you like this, give us a thumbs up. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Seems good to me. Uh, also, if there's a trailer you want to see, please let me know below. I'll try to get more in there uh, because I'm doing more of them. So that's it. Later. I will see you next week. Probably first one Monday. Second one maybe like Thursday or something. That sounds about right. But hey, hey, later. <laughs>